Alright lads, I'm pretty tired, but I'm not gonna let that get in the way. We're gonna talk about some new stuff about the Xbox, which I should have done a while ago when when it came out, but I just got a little bit busy and school and all, and I'm being a little bit tired right now, but I'm not gonna let that, so let's get right into it. So, we're gonna read this news, this first news article. Let me wait for this to load. Okay, there it is. Eh. Next gen Xbox reveal at E3. Xbox One with no disk drive and and all the all the other Xbox rumors. I'm gonna before we keep going, gonna leave the links of all of these articles in the description if you guys wanna go check it out and go more in depth. Like on your own if you wanna read something specific. So just gonna read what I find interesting, which is everything. So let's get to it. With about three months. To go before E3 2019, Xbox ru rumors are heating up. Microsoft has previously confirmed it is working on multiple next, multiple working on mul multi new Xbox consoles, and now it plans appear to come into focus. There is a lot of information out there about the new Xbox co Xbox consoles, so we're rounding up all the rumors and speculations into this post. To help make sense of the matter, bear in the mind what the sources for each rumor have proven eligible in the past. Everything mentioned here is unconfirmed, as with all rumors, plans are subject to change. change. With that carrying out of the way, a disc-free Xbox One. Rumored for many months already and discussions at a Capulet level for years. The, uh, the disc free Xbox One is said to be cut code name Xbox Ma Maverick 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 Windows Central reported reported that this system will will actually be called Xbox One S All Digital Edition. Pre orders for the consoles are set to open in April with the consoles then scheduled to go on sale in May around the world. This will be the first for Microsoft. As all previous Xbox hard drive feature a disk drive, pricing hasn't mentioned in any reports yet. But dropping the disk drive would presumably lower the cost. In fact, it's believed that the disk free Xbox One would be the cheapest Xbox One offering today. And that's actually true. Also, unclear at this stage, it is. If the disc-free Xbox One would would contain, ouch, contain any further chances to Xbox One hard drive or or design, Windows Central Central posted a Photoshop mocked up of what the what an Xbox One without a disc dri drive may look like. Check it out here. Like I said, I'll just leave it in the description for you guys to check it out. The video game industries, like film, TV, and music before, it is increasingly trending towards the digital space and away from physical media. Microsoft itself is pushing for further into digital space with its new streaming service, Project X Cloud, which, according to Brand Sams, will enter a trial trial phase later this year. Another Microsoft digital subscription service, Xbox Game Pass, is Provenly popular already with millions of people signing up, it's clear digital import to Microsoft's is going forward. I mean, what I tell you lads, like digital or the Game Pass and everything else, it's it's already doing so successful. And I can't wait to, you know, see see more of that going. Um all all digital har all digital hardware has been attempted before as Sony's Launch the PSP go back in 2009, but it's failed. It's been a day. It's been a decade since that trial and gen general internet Availability and speed has improved since then so there are parts of the world where where access to Internet is limited and in other places where speeds are less than great quote-unquote hello Australia for those who prefer physical media Microsoft will continue to make Xbox One consoles with disk drives, so there's no need to worry about all digital future taking over, at least not yet. Yeah. The disk to digital program, a key component, 
component of Microsoft's disk free Xbox One plans is what's being referred to as disk to digital program. As part of this, users can trade in their console disk for a digital license for games they already own. The disk the bleh, the disk to digital program is expected to launch around the same time as the disk free Xbox One's consoles release in May, or a little earlier, brand same Brant's Brad Sam's reported people would be available to visit the Microsoft store and Best Buy potentially others to swap out their disc for digital license their specify specifics about how this will work remain unclear okay this is actually pretty cool let me pause it here this is actually pretty cool in my opinion being able to let me let me read this again yeah being able to to trade in their console disc for a digital license for the game they already own. That's pretty great. So I'm assuming like, let's say if I have uh, Black Ops 2. So let's say I turn it into like um, Best Buy. I'll turn it in like the actual full copy of the game. And they'll just give me like a certain code that I can put on Xbox. That only I can like access to Black Ops 2 and no other. Maybe it could be something like that. Who knows? This dis digital to disc program... Right now, what I'm reading, it's actually pretty cool. Let me let me let me know your guys' thoughts on that in the comments. Retailers may not be happy about this new news, especially GameStop, whose buy sell trade business model hinds on physical media remaining popular. But no one is asking players to care about the health or health of retailers. If this is the way the business is going, retailers will need to adapt. For this is a part. For its part, GameStop has diverse its offerings sustainably of late, of late to focus more on digital options and physical contact with Foku Pop toys and other, other, eh, other physical merchandise. A new Fortnite Xbox One. Microsoft already offers an Xbox One hard drive bundle that comes with the Fortnite various extras but the company is reporting and planning to push even further on the battle real game a new xbox one featuring a digital des design inspired by fortnite is coming according to windows central though the site didn't have any further information about the system and if it will be an xbox one s x or or the new disc free edition next gen consoles microsoft is um right mark I should have breathed. Microsoft is reportedly working on multiple new Xbox One consoles and development under the Scarlet Umbrella. This first is codenamed Anaconda, 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 according to Brad Sams, and is the new high high power Xbox One to follow the Xbox One X that was released in November 2017. The other codenamed Lock Lock Heart. Right, something like that. It's said to be, <coughs> excuse me, to be the budget oriented, orientated offering. At E three, holy crap! Excuse me. At E three twenty nineteen in June, Microsoft is expected to discuss both of these new these consoles. Through it's unclear at this stage how deep into specifics the company plans to get. Sands reported that Microsoft's idea with the new consoles is to make next-gen gaming available to wider audience with a low price of entry. The consoles aren't expected to be released until fall 2020. Oh crap. That's not that long. And E3 is at June. Like, June is where my birthday is. Like, I'll, I will definitely, like, you know, cover all that e3 and all that in june with you guys can't wait for what microsoft has planned and then it's actually pretty good that they're making the cost of it a little bit lower and like it would like help them out with tremendous sales like people would buy that i would buy even two copies of that if i knew how much they're going to be selling for right now i think it's like four to five hundred dollars on xbox i think or 400 if they lowered it down to like 250 or even 300 like i'm telling you people would just buy that in my opinion because like they added in a couple of new features in and then lowered the price down like why why would you not buy that According to Sam, Sam's, the Anaconda console will be priced in line with Sony's PlayStation 5, which is rumored hasn't been announced yet. Okay. Which Lockhart would, will cost less. Okay, so the Ana, 
Anaconda console will be the same price as the PlayStation 5. Okay, and then the lock heart will cost less. So it's like, t so I'm assuming those two consoles have like different um, variations. Maybe the Anaconda has a little bit more features than the lock heart does. Maybe that's why the lock heart costs less or something. I don't know. Just a, th just a theory. Um, specs are all known for Anaconda and Lock Heart, but Sam's reported that both consoles will have so will have solid state storage, which would be a big improvement over the Xbox One's hard drive, hard disk drive. Good, actually, it's pretty pretty neat. Sam specu speculates that that specs for the new wave of of consoles is expected to be yeah to not to not be as important as it was with Xbox One X. A console that can already deliver 4K at 60 FPS frames per second. Gaming he he suggested that the most significant change will will be the software side. A new technology called Game Core OS will enable will enable Microsoft to bring Xbox One and PC development more closely together, apparently. That's pretty cool. According to Sam, Microsoft may attempt to launch games Game Core o OS for all for all Xbox One family of device. However, it is unknown this stage if this will unlock what Sam's called the true forward of backwards and the true the true forward and backwards compatibility. That's sick. What if Microsoft said to be pushing more into the PC development space, Halo Chronicle, Halo Infinite is coming to Xbox One and PC. Some may question if this will hurt Microsoft's ability to sell consoles. As Sam reminds us, games remind reminds us, games not hardware is is where the money is made. The margin profile of the game sales are known to be better than hardware where margins are low low or not or even non existent in some cases in history. That it that is not where you make money, Phil Spencer told Geekwire about consoles. The business inside the game is really selling game games and selling access to games and con content it and means like this is a fundamental business. So if you open so if you open it up, the more often people can play it, the more they'll enjoy the art form. It decreases the size of the business. Okay. X Cloud and Game Pass. Woo! This is gonna be a doozy. One of one of Microsoft's most exciting and ambitious new technologies is the game streaming um, service project X Cloud. Microsoft's long-term vision to bring Xbox to every internet-connected screen. Whether that would be your TV console or mobile phone in your pocket, according to Sam Cloud, X Cloud, or whatever name Microsoft decides to give it, will enter the trial trial phase later this year. Xbox boss Phil Spencer has said that during his holiday travels at the end of 2018, he was already playing streaming games on his phone as he jetted around. So it's definitely coming together. I'm not nothing is certain. Nothing is certain yet, but it's. It's hard to envision a future where Xbox Game Pass becomes a cloud X cloud offering where people can stream games wherever they are on whatever device they have. That's exciting to think about, but think, but there are numerous unanswered questions like whether the service will be available worldwide. PlayStation Now is notably unavailable in Australia, and it would, and if it will require Xbox Live Gold, whether or not, whatever the case is, it may finally be time. That streaming takes off. X Microsoft is joined by the likes of Google, Amazon, Verizon, and tech juggernauts is ha is in having announcements or rumored to have game streaming service in, in the pipeline. So right now it's pretty interesting. It, it's 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 getting there. Like the, we're taking they're taking game to like the full next level. Next steps. Brad Brad Sam's reports that Microsoft will begin to discuss the next gen. Next generation plans with partners at the Game Developers Conference later this month in San Francisco. This the show is aimed at developers and business ex executives. So whether or not these discussions take place 
Behind closed doors, how public it remains to be seen. As the consumer facing E3 sh show in June, the company will reportedly formally unveil unveil the new console and discuss its its plans at a high level. And that's about it for this first article. Like I said, I was excuse me. Leave the links of all these in the description. Uh, okay, we only have two more to read. So right now. It's gonna be good. Like all this, I I hope like they do this because I feel like they're doing really well and it's pretty good that they're doing new features to the what was it the I the Anaconda console and the Law Car. I I like how there's like two different versions and they cost cheaper. I wonder why. Like I know they're gonna add features. I don't know if it's gonna be same or different. So so this one xbox news shock xbox rumor could mean good news and bad news and bad for ps4 big announcements are being planned by microsoft and accord in 2019 according to last reports this will include regarding the xbox one and and also what will replace it as its next microsoft gaming machine Report reports suggest the big gaming if reveals are being planned for E3 2019 as well as other announcements outside of the LA export. Rumors are rightful that the Xbox One console will be revealed by Phil Spencer, which could put more in pressure on PS4. One item that expected to be an E before revealed before the E3 this year, Microsoft plans to launch the di the disc discless Xbox One. I think we already discussed about that. Uh, the Xbox One All Digital Edition is reportedly going to sale in May 2019 for pre orders opening in April. This could mean that an announcement will be made in the coming weeks and will summarily affect the console's uh, sales in 2019 and beyond. W Windows Central broke the news this week but didn't have any information of how much the new Xbox console will cost. That's what I'm wondering too, like how much. And like most outlets, the uh, Multifoli have highlighted how the new Microsoft announcement could prove more successful, cost cost being one of them. Not not only does the Xbox One probably cost less to me, but it will also allow Microsoft to sell their consoles at a lower price. That would help them out, and that would help us out. And and with the, and with the way the the giant with being push pushing the Xbox Game Pass and other subscription products, it could prove a Luxury boost, like I, I, it's the Game Pass is a genius, genius idea that they had, and I'm glad it's taking it to the next level. A discless Xbox One less would likely be both cheaper in manufacturer and less prone to failure. The report from Motley fully explains such a such a product isn't likely to be saleable at the same prices that the Xbox One S commands today. Nobody is going to want to play the one. Going to pay the same, pay the same for fewer features. I mean, if it's lower, I think they will. Moreover, while Microsoft does generate revenue from Xbox, from console sales, the real money that Microsoft makes is what it comes after the console sales, such as revenue from game sales, service, subscription, and so on. Excuse me for that burp earlier. It's in Microsoft's best interest that uh, then to pronounce it, its Xbox player install base as as much as pos possibly can. By offering a distance to Xbox One as presumably in the markets where broad, broad plan internet connections are uncontestable, Microsoft will should be able to offer a lower cost cost console options to try to get more gamers into the ecosystem. They're they're already gonna have, ouch! They're already gonna have my support on this man. Like, d just freaking dang. Okay. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay. Huge breather. And with the PS4, PS4 already already back to lose lose their sales crown to the Nintendo Switch in 2019. It seems this move could. Prove a provide a further squeeze on Sony. That's that's not to say that this new console will see Microsoft soaring above their competition, but it does add a add an interesting new twist. This move is unexpected expected to be followed 
by a blockbuster E3 from Microsoft where they will reportedly reveal their next console. I can't wait for it. And Project Scarlet Scarlet will share the limelight with the Project X Cloud, the new streaming service, and perhaps another shock reveal concerning the Xbox Game Pass. I hope the Xbox Game Pass has m more to it though, because right now it's already pretty good. I would like to see more things that would happen to it. A recent a recent report linked Microsoft to launch the subscription service on the Nintendo Switch, something that would certainly change the gaming la landscape. The Xbox Game Pass would be made available via Project X Cloud, where certain games would be ported over to. This would unsolve the issue of some titles being being unable to run on in the Nintendo Switch. However, there are also conflicting reports. If this is something that could happen sooner or a project being planned for further down to the road, what do we do? What do we know? What we do know is that Microsoft is open to, is open to getting their service on onto as many systems as possible. No longer flex flexible data on the consoles and the hardware. Microsoft is moving on to building a platform with with as much accessibility as possible. Xbox Chief uh, uh, Phil Spencer <clears throat> Phil Spencer confirmed this during during this during an interview with Geek Wire telling the Allo we want to bring Game Pass to any device that somebody wants to play on. Not just because it's our business, but really because the business model allows for people to consume and find games that they wouldn't have had played in any other space. The bus the business inside of the games is really selling games and selling access to games is and content means like there is a fundamental business business sensor added when asked about possible con con can cannibalization of their products. So if you open it up, the more often people can play, the more they're the more they're enjoying the art form and increases the size of business. This would suggest that the tech, the giant tech would be happy to see their gamecast appear on on rival consoles, meaning the PS1 and Nintendo Switch are possible candidates. It's hard to say whether Sony would ever allow such a thing, but it would prove great re, great news for PlayStation consoles owners if they did. It actually, I actually feel so bad for. PS4 players that can't like have stuff like this, features like this. This is why I favor the Xbox a little bit more because stuff like this. And finally, the Xbox One controller leaks and how this looks. So, you know, like I said before, I'm going to leave the links of these articles in the description and in the order that I read them. So you guys can just, you know, go read specific ones. Okay, let's read this again. New Xbox One controller leaks and it looks amazing. A Xbox One controller has been leaked courtesy of Amazon Mexico and it's one of the best looking con con looking controllers Microsoft has put out yet. While Sony Interact Entertainment embraced the see-through controller design a while ago, Microsoft has been slower to make it make its own retro style Xbox One controllers that let players see all the in heart in arts that eh, that make that make the controller work. The that started to change last year though when Microsoft introduced a black controller. Yeah, a black controller that was slightly see see through. The controller was dubbed, dubbed the Xbox One Phantom Black Controller, and while it was received pretty well by the fans, it was it see through design was lacking a bit. That that said, it doesn't look like a Microsoft doesn't look like Microsoft is stopping with the see-through designs and we'll soon be adding Xbox One Plaf Phantom White uh, controller to collection. The controller has yet to be announced but it has leaked and already fans fans falling in love with it. The picture, the picture of it, I'll just screenshot it for me to see and you know you guys can go check that out. It's actually pretty dope with the controller but you know I kind of hope it does something a little bit different. The design looks great, but I feel like they could have done a little bit different, but that's just my opinion. In addition to, to a trans salute design, the controller will come supporting at the bells and whistle whistles other controllers feature including texture grip from four added sorry about that four added comfort custom buttons, mapping 3.5 mm stereo 
headset jack and Bluetooth technology, and of course that controller be com compatible compatible with Xbox One X, Xbox One S, Xbox One, and Windows 10. Wow, that sentence right, that whole entire paragraph right there, that that amazes me. How they're gonna do their controllers? Holy crap! We already discussed about the consoles and now the controllers. Man, Microsoft is already <clears throat> doing it. The one thing that per perhaps undermines this sleek new controller, in fact, that the Xbox One gener generation is almost over. In other words, you may not get a t a t a ton of usage out of it unless, of course, the next Xbox consoles features the same controller on the support on Xbox One. Or support Xbox One controllers, the la the later seems likely. So I suppose even once once next gen arrives, you will still be able to to use it and an ex an extent. Anyways, always feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We'll be picking up controllers one. And yeah, that's about it. So eh. um, so all all of these all of these are red right now. I feel like. My, I feel like freaking Xbox One, Xbox One right now. I feel like reading all this, doing like everything that I just read. They're gonna kill it this year. I'm like a hundred percent sure right now because I don't. I have not even read an article about PS4 or Sony about making a new console. I don't like. There hasn't been leaks about that. There's been a lot of leaks and so many rumors about Xbox One that like I'm getting really hyped up to know what's gonna be new to the new console and what's gonna be different and what's gonna be really good to the platform for us players. I have to keep on going. I'm surely gonna favor Xbox till I die. Well, till I die. And, yeah, and that. But yeah, I love how they did Xbox One. The Xbox Game Pass. I cannot stress that enough. They did the backwards compatibility so well, and they're gonna take all that just a bit further. And they're gonna add new features to these new consoles that we have not seen yet. E3 is at is in the uh, month of June, so. I can't wait to like wait for it. I'll see if I can try to live stream my reaction of it. If not, then I'll figure out something. But I'm really hyped up for that. What else? What else? What else? I know there's something else. Oh, yeah, and the controllers. The controllers look dope right now, but I kind of feel like the designs were like a little, a little bit like eh. Like it's just plain white and just a little bit of this and that. But I feel like they could have done something a bit better. And then the discless drive. That's going to be a little bit innovating. Instead of, you know, plugging in a 360 disc and an Xbox One to play, you could just turn in the 360 disc and get something out of it, to, or like a code or something to put in your Xbox, and then just play it digitally. That, right there, that, oh my goodness, that is just taking it so much, man. And being able to play, like, the Game Pass through Nintendo or any other device, this is huge news, and I do not see Sony or PlayStation having a backup. Like, what is there going to be comeback? For right now, all these, I hope they're true, and I hope Microsoft is working on that right now. Because I don't see any other any other reason on how Xbox is going to win this year's console war, in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it, about the system features, the controller, or the disc list or whatever leave all all your thoughts and comments on uh, down below i really want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions about it please if please comment because that really means a lot to me and again i will leave the links of all three of these articles that i read in the description below if you guys want to go check them out read something specific you want to read about and yeah guys my name is fan goes two through nine saying xbox one xbox two will win this year's console war I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.